Hey everybody, Desert Growth Spurt back again with another video for you guys. Today we're going to be going over the unboxing and post setup of the AC Infinity T6 Cloudline series. What you got before you is the motor itself. The middle box is going to be the carbon filter. And I did go ahead and buy the additional 25 feet of insulated tubing. So I'm just going over real quickly here what you do get within each package. Their additional insulated tubing was definitely worth the money. The additional insulation does prevent any of that hot air uh, that's pumping through it from emulating back into the tent. So if that is something you need a few extra feet, it is definitely worth the buy. Next up, we got the carbon filter. Uh, I do believe this is what they call the Australian carbon. Uh, anyway, in the box, you get the, the filter. It does also come with the dust sleeve or dust sock to put around the outside to also help extend the life of your filter. Pretty basic. It is a very large piece. You'll see when we do get into my final setup, I did have a permanent mount for it. And I'll go over one little issue that I did run into. Lastly here, we have the mounter that does come with the Series 67 controller. It's not the Wi-Fi version. However, you can still download the app and access it from your phone. Inside the package, you do get your thermostat that you do get to hang down or your probe sensor that you hang in your room to give your controller an accurate reading of your temperature and humidity. And obviously you can set different on and off times, whether it's for your temperature or humidity or an overall time. Very lightweight on the motor. Uh, the filter itself actually was quite heavier than the motor. So I did want to go ahead and just jump ahead to the post-production part of this. I do want to pre-apologize for my fantastic camera work here. But, but the point of this is the information and, and the trial and error. So a, a majority of people who are growing, find themselves growing in a tent or even a small closet, let's say. And, and a lot of the time, you're just going to be hanging uh, the fan and the filter with the straps that are provided from AC Infinity. I, I was going with a more permanent fixture. Uh, so as you'll see up here, I did attach the motor uh, uh, just to a very basic piece of OSB board. Uh, this way I was able to run that board into the studs and I could locate that motor wherever I wanted. What you do see is an additional about a half inch piece uh, little platform. What I noticed when I put the carbon filter on, it was so very close to the top of the board or what even would be the ceiling that there wasn't a whole lot of airflow. So I, like I said, I, I went ahead and added about another half inch this way you can get good airflow all the way around the filter when the girls do decide to go into flower and I put that on. The rat's nest of wires uh, is something we all struggle with. I did go ahead and just put the probe right kind of down in the middle of the tent, roughly about a foot and a half above, above the gals, about midway between the light and the actual plant surface. So with, with that, I again, I wanted to highlight that the filter did not provide a whole lot of space uh, around it completely if you are going to permanently mount your, your motor somewhere. Definitely something to keep in mind and, and definitely dry fit or dry measure that to make sure it's gonna work in your area. I myself, I, I was not able to plug it into this room, so I did have to snake it through the wall. Kind of a 
a sloppy just to get it done, get it turned on and get the room cooled down. I am uh, growing out here in Arizona and we are mid-July and these temperatures are, are destroying everything. It, it's about 106, 107 for, for at least the last week where I've been at. So I had to, had to do something about the ventilation. As you see, I got also went ahead and got the AC Infinity goggles because the more time I spend in that room, figure better go ahead and protect the old, the old eyes. So little over overview here of the room. So far, I am loving this the T6. It is just cranking that air out. It's very quiet. It, it's able to circulate air quite well within the whole room. Got my carbon filter covered in its plastic. Just, just waiting for those girls to start into flower. Just my little storage area. Got to have everything ready to go for when I need it. So far, very impressed. It's only it's only been up for about a day, but as of right now, I am about 10 degrees cooler in that room versus the ambient temperature around it. So it's definitely definitely made a huge difference. This last week, unfortunately, I've had temperatures reach almost 110 in, in that room, and the gals were not happy. So overall, definitely a, a fantastic piece of equipment, something you'll, you'll definitely see the benefits of. So any questions, guys, reach out, follow us on Instagram, do all the normal YouTube things, and watch as we grow.